Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be running through some of the new features of the GoodNote 6 app. So let's jump straight in. So you'll notice as soon as I open the app that it's looking a little different to normal. We've got a lot more colour with the pinks and the purples. And this is because with the GoodNote 6 update we are now able to edit the colour of the folders and we can also add little icons. So to do this you want to just tap the title of the folder and it will bring up this menu where you can select colours and it will also let you select an icon to a place on the folder as well. I really like this, I think it's a really cute addition. You'll also notice that the folders look a little bit more rounded as well and this seems to be a theme throughout the app now. They've made everything a little bit rounder, a little bit more cuter. Okay so let's take a look at what's new when we are using a document. So you can see here that I am in viewing mode, which means I can use the hyperlinks and I can jump throughout the planner. If you were a user of GoodNotes 5, you'll know that the option to switch between viewing and editing mode used to be right up here in this top right hand corner, whereas now you can see it's right in the middle of the toolbar. So when you tap this icon, you will enter into editing mode. And it's when you are in editing mode that you are able to edit the document, write on the planner, move stuff around, highlight stuff. Whereas with the viewing mode, you are able to use the hyperlinks and jump throughout the planner. So you'll see with GoodNotes 6, not only have we had a few icons move around, but they've also had a little bit of a refresh as well. Everything, again, is a little bit more rounded off. And personally, I think this looks really good. I mean, let me know what you think in the comments. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on the new user interface. So we now also have new pen gestures with GoodNotes 6. So before, if you wrote a word and you wanted to erase it, you'd have to grab your eraser tool and erase it like that. Whereas now what you can do with your pen tool is just scribble through and it will erase it. We are also now able to use the lasso feature without actually selecting the lasso tool. So with your pen tool, you just want to circle the word, hold down, and then you can move the word. So one of the biggest updates that has come to the GoodNotes app is that it now has got AI integrated into the app. If you are writing a word and you misspell that word, the app is going to pick up on this and you'll see a little red line appear underneath the word. If you tap on that, it's going to come up with options for what it thinks you are trying to spell. And then you can select the one that you want or you can choose to ignore it. You can see it then corrects the word to the correct spelling in writing that would be similar to yours. Another new feature is that if you are writing a word and you stop halfway through because maybe you're not too sure how to spell it, it will actually come up and suggest the words that it think, thinks that you're trying to spell. So as you can see that has finished the word for me and then I can just move it onto the planner where I want it to go. If at any point you want to switch off any of the pen gestures like the scribbling or the lasso tool, you can come here and just toggle off whichever one it is that you want to switch off. With regards to duplicating pages or adding pages, it still is the same process except for some reason it shows the front page of the book instead of the actual template you're on. When you tap to duplicate the page, it will come up with the page that you are on though. It is also the same process as before for copying and pasting pages. Okay, so let's head back to our documents area. So at the side, you'll see we now have this little sidebar that shows documents, our favorites, recent searches, also has a new marketplace. So subscribers can download free icons from this section. So there's a few stickers, uh, covers, a few different things. And I think these are gonna be updated quite frequently, or at least I hope they will be. And so to download these, you just want to tap where it says free at the top and you'll see it will start to download. That will then automatically download itself into the elements feature. So if we head back to our digital planner, go to the elements icon and you will see that we have the stickers that have automatically downloaded straight there. Let's jump back over to the marketplace. 
If you scroll down, you're going to see that there are options for you to purchase digital planners or stickers. If you are a student, there is also interactive exam prep that you can click into and you can download. So yeah, I definitely think if you are a student, it would be worth clicking into this section and having a little look. I know the new update does have AI map assistance, so that would probably be worth checking out. We also have some updates when creating a notebook within the GoodNotes app. So if we tap on the plus, tap on notebook, and here you'll see you've got your template and you've got the cover. If you then tap on customize template, you're gonna see that you're gonna have a lot more color options for that template. We also have more options available for the cover image. So you'll see we have a few new ones here and different color options. And this can be customized further in the same way as the template was. So at the top, you're going to want to just click onto color and then you can either choose one that's already preset there or you can click on customize color. And then you just want to have a little play around with the palettes and find a color combination that you like. And once you're happy, you just want to tap create. So if we now switch to the typing tool at the top, you will see that when you write on the page, it will automatically change it to text. You can also adjust the size of the text and the layout just by tapping here. If we highlight the text and then tap on this little icon here, you'll see a little menu came up with options. One of them was for grammar and spelling. So this is its correction for what I had just written. So there was a little mistake. So yeah, it's corrected that. And then you just tap replace. Let's go back in and look at that menu again. So you'll see there are a few different options. It is similar to chat GPT. So you give it like a prompt with what you've written and then what you want it to do. So I think that's pretty cool and I'm interested to see how they're going to develop that. Now, if at any point you get stuck and you tap the little icon at the top right hand corner, you can actually select the user guide and this goes through every single feature that is in GoodNotes. So that is really, really helpful. And of course, if you need any help, you can contact me and I'm more than happy to help as well. Okay, so let's talk about the pricing. So with GoodNotes, you can download the app for free. With the free download, you are able to upload up to three notebooks. You have these limited features with the free version. If you choose, you want to be able to use the full version. There are two options. They have a subscription model, which is $9.99 a year or $29.99 as a one-time purchase and you can see with that you get all of the features. I think there are some differences between the subscription and paying the one-time payment and that's something to do with being able to access GoodNotes on different devices. I think if you're subscribed you can or you will be able to access your notebooks on all different devices Whereas the one-time payment, it would just be for like your Apple devices, for example. But I would suggest reading through all of this and just getting a good idea of exactly what it entails. Anyway, friends, I'm going to wrap up here. I really hope that this video has been useful. Please let me know what your thoughts are on GoodNotes 6 and if you are upgrading or if you're going to be sticking with GoodNotes 5. Also, if you have any other questions, Feel free to pop them in the comments below.